people into radio yeah. over here. No, but, but because we need it the most. Very frankly, we need it the most. And I'm here to tell you, ma'am, if please, is, 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 there a, is there a course, is there a radio course at Whistling Woods? We have a specialization. Yeah, because it's, it's unfortunate that today if you want engineers, you have engineering colleges. You want doctors, there are medical colleges. I don't know where do I pick up my radio professionals from. And uh, 10 years back when I started doing radio, Brian would uh, agree that there were no institutes. I was a hotelier. I, uh, I was uh, working for the Taj Group of Hotels. I was a front office uh, receptionist. And uh, guess what? I just gave a wake-up call to a guest. He liked my voice, and I've been on radio for the last 10 years. So, no, you don't have to go and work for hotels. You don't have to do any of that. I was lucky enough, I was doing theater. I've been doing theater for 12 years now, but uh, I can see a lot of students coming in. A lot of people who join radio, they think radio is a stepping stone for television or the film industry or for anything else. I would just like to state that radio was there much before television ever came and radio will always be there and radio will have the reach which I don't think any other medium can get because we are a local medium. There's no competition over here but uh, speaking of institutes, I would really, really, really wish that Whistling Woods could actually have a specialized radio course by which if tomorrow I need, I, I, I need students, I need people right now, guys interested in working for Red FM, please get in touch with me, I'll let you have my email address. Yeah, great. And again, just like uh, she's saying that with radio, everybody turns around and say, Are, bolna hi to hai. Keval radio jockey.